I just wanted to show you this match that I played not that long ago. I just wanted to show you this match that I played not that long ago. And what this is, is this is called Risk World War 1. It's a StarCraft mod. And basically, you play all the nations of World War 1 uh, fighting each other. So, we have the Ottoman Empire, Bulgaria, Serbia, Austria, Germany, Russia, France, Britain, um, later Portugal, and Italy. And... I just wanted to say that this was probably the most epic match I had ever played. Now, each one of these uh, nations, which is conveniently color-coded for you if you like crayons, uh, each one of these nations is played by a different player. So, France is played by somebody, Austria, Germany, Serbia. Um, most nations in the game, if you're Austria and Germany, you're basically just um, holding off France and Russia uh, until... Well, and Italy. Austria has to hold Italy by himself. And you're basically trying to hold this until uh, either the Ottomans or Bulgaria gets a significant enough advantage to help you push one of the fronts. And that's normally how most matches go. Um, the For the central powers, for the allied powers, you're trying to reach income parity, so taking a little bit, of, little bit of ground at a time. And normally by, like, the middle of a game if the allies have more well if the allies pretty much ever have more of the spending power than the central powers the allies have won immediately uh serbia and bulgaria basically fight over greece because the money they're going to earn from taking greece uh will s help one of them uh overpower the other one however serbia is also surrounded by austria and bulgaria and has virtually no help from anyone um i don't think I've ever seen a game where someone's helped Serbia. I've seen a few games where Italy will land uh, in Albania and try to help Serbia, but what it does is it severely inhibits uh, Italy's ability to stop Austria from pushing down, so Italy normally never does that. Uh, France normally, his goal is to hold off Germany and make a bunch of artillery and then try to push into Germany. Then we have Germany who holds off France and Russia, and normally he pushes whatever direction is weakest. Um, most games, Austria and Germany will push Warsaw immediately together, as you will see. Um, I, I decided I would play Austria in this match, and there we go, Warsaw and then Serbia. So the plan was we were going to rush Warsaw and then rush Serbia right after that, and it was a good plan. Um, however, this was my, like, second time playing Austria, so I had no clue what I was doing. Um, this is a production tab for all the nations. It's just kind of going to give me a general idea of what I should be looking at. So, we start the push on Warsaw. Meanwhile, Russia comes to defend it, and I don't recall if we actually captured it or not, but I do know it was a decently close fight. That's man so it looks like the plan never even went through then uh, Italy went for the fast push on me and Austria which just was not helpful at all Bulgaria actually managed to gain the advantage of taking this choke point uh, which stops Serbia from coming down into Greece uh, then we have Britain who is probably gonna try to build up a Navy versus Ottoman who should go Navy but it looks like he's gonna push a little further into Russia than most Ottomans go Meanwhile, uh, Russia's going to start trying to pull as much land as he can because he needs his money. And whatever he can hold past Warsaw is a huge advantage for him early game. Meanwhile, I'm going to start focusing on Italy uh, because he's getting a little bit in the way. And so we've got Germany 1v1ing Russia. And this gives France all the time he needs to push whatever way he wants. So he's going to go through Brussels, uh, Belgium, and Luxembourg to try to... Uh, create a better line against the German aggression and then what he's probably gonna do is come down here and try to push uh, Germany off the Rhine and push him back beyond the river uh, that's what most Frances are gonna do it turns out uh, I unfortunately did not manage to push Italy back from this position so now I'm in a dumb position um, so now I'm like uh oh we need Bulgaria faster than normal because we've lost on all fronts pretty much right away which is not a good way for central powers to start uh, so I asked Germany if he wanted to uh, help me push Serbia and <clears throat> honestly bro uh, I didn't have the power to do it as you can see I had like 12 Marines and 
versus a Serbia fortification early game, not going to do much. Uh, meanwhile, Bulgaria is doing a good job holding the choke. The choke. The choke excellently, might I add. Uh, hold your ground as long as you can. Can so Ottoman looks like he's feeling pretty confident right now. He has not won any navy battles, nor is he outright winning the ground battle. So he's just being uh, nice, I guess. So I decided to come help Germany push Russia off this ground, and it ended up killing off a good amount of troops for him. Uh, we had to retake some bunkers. You know, it happens. Some people take the trenches, and you gotta go back. Russia's gonna militia that. I lost focus for a second apparently and almost got a bunch of my guys killed. Luckily his militia didn't do too much damage except Germany's just eating militia. Meanwhile Serbia and Bulgaria are stuck in their little conflict. Italy's trying to get every inch out of me that he can and he killed off my navy and took my port so I couldn't try to stop him from pushing. Uh, normally, whoever owns this channel between uh, Italy and Austria has the advantage. Because uh, your navy can stop Austria from pushing in, or Austria's navy can stop you from pushing out. Um, so it's pretty important, whoever holds this, but you don't want to invest too much into it. And I'm invested everywhere else already, because Russia is just annihilating me in Germany. So this was a... This, this was a hard match to be playing. Meanwhile, it looks like Britain... Well, most Britons normally start to take Scandinavia at some point, but it looks like this Britain does not have that in mind. Uh, he's going to take the coastal stuff off of the Ottomans, and the Ottomans is going to go land-focused. Now, normally, if you're Britain and you go Navy and the Ottomans do not go Navy, you just won the game outright. Unfortunately... For the central powers it looks like we're at a, a massive disadvantage meanwhile Germany has to start rerouting forces to France who is pushing him more and that's taking some off of this Russian front now Russia is still spamming Marines and uh, Austria is still being pushed by Italy and I'm stuck with my forces in the middle of Austria um, starting to build artillery because I need to get Italy off of me if I can help Germany any way I can now keep in mind this is still like my first game of Austria so I'm looking like a weirdo I should have put oh, I, okay so I did have machine guns here in case uh, Russia pushed down here however if Russia threw this many Marines into a machine gun line like this I'm not exactly confident that machine line uh, machine gun line would stop it uh, meanwhile Germany is starting to push back the Rhine a little bit but I don't think he's particularly concerned with it now I started building artillery to get these uh, ships off of my port so I could try to get some parity over navy fortunately bulgaria is just annihilating serbia so he'll have that pretty quickly russia just manhandles germany right so they're that far away from berlin that is most russians do not get that close to berlin eight minutes into the game okay i mean clearly he wasn't going to make it to berlin because of this fortress but germany was suspicious enough that he didn't even build a trench he just went straight for a machine gun so that's pretty cool. Germany's still holding his line. Uh, I've got some machine gunners to hold back any more infantry aggression. And uh, apparently I decided to bother Serbia, get some income off his hands, which is not necessarily a bad idea. I mean, maybe I was bored. <laughs> but uh, I started, uh, the best place you can uh, put artillery to batter the Serbians uh, most Austrias put them up here and they try to take out Belgrade and that. What you really want to do is take out this. Uh, the reason you take out the one in the middle, uh, because if Bulgaria actually gets this foothold, which is pretty easy for him to take once he removes his fortress, he could do whatever he wants to Serbia, no problem at all. But if you don't remove this for him, it's going to be so much slower for him coming in. Um, and Serbia doesn't have a lot of money, so it's not like he's going to be able to place too many machine guns. Russia and Germany are still just taking... Oh, Russia just sniped some artillery, which is a big play. That's $600 compared to each Marine's $100. So basically the value of six Marines was just sniped out in one second. Uh, Italy's getting mad at me that I keep RDing his navy, so he's going to take it out on a single bunker. Uh, now, why can't I just push behind Italy and take these bunkers that are unmanaged and then 
you know, push his line, like, encircle him. Well, this little river is taken by Italian Navy, so not good. What is this? Is this an Italian guy? Or French? Regardless, that's a pretty smart move. I've never seen that before. Um, Russia actually finally lost an engagement. Uh, Britain is going to be landing on Bulgaria, which cannot be good. Or Turkey. Sometimes Britain lands Turkey right here, but it looks like he was more than ready for it. Ottomans knows what's up. Ottomans is winning on the land ground, so if Britain lands Bulgaria and doesn't take it, that could be disastrous for this whole Mediterranean Sea, the whole thing, and Greece. Absolutely disastrous. Central powers will own this whole part of the map, and then all you got to do is focus on uh, Russia. And Russia is very spread out, so if Russia starts losing pretty early on, yeah, it's hard to defend. Ottoman can come up. And Ottomans, normally when they attack Russia, they only go up to about here, and they sometimes stall out or stop and focus somewhere else, which is okay. Um, that's more than enough land taken for an Austrian Germany or Austrian Bulgarian and German front to just annihilate Russia anyway. Uh, yeah, that thing I told you that I shouldn't do, I did it, and it didn't work out for me. I was trying to snipe uh, a mortar, and I ended up not losing any Marines, but close to it. There's no information on how much money each nation has. Uh, that's normally played during the match, which is unfortunate that they don't have it for spectating. But we can get past that. So let's see here. Ottoman versus Britain is 24-24, so they're pretty even. Germany and Austria versus Russia and Italy. The KD for the Allies is enormous. Even if we include France, Italy, and Russia together, you're you're not even close to how much uh, the Central Powers have lost. So this is a pretty desperate game for us. Pretty desperate. Go back to production. Now Ottoman just noticed that Britain is landing. Britain chose the worst place to land of all the places he could have landed. So that's a huge mistake on Britain's part. Mistake on Britain's part. Germany's telling Ottomans to take that shit. The Ottomans already knew he was doing it, bro. Already knew. Now, he's probably going to come back and maybe defend this. Or he'll land Greece. I don't really know what his plan is. Not the best Britain I've ever seen. I mean, he got what he was supposed to, but then he just gave up some of this stuff. He didn't even, he didn't even try to take... If he lost that fast, he should have been taking this. He should have been spending money to take uh, Scandinavia. And that would make sense as to why he lost that fast, but 15 minutes into the game and you've already let Ottoman like completely play on his own, that's not that good. And this is a this is a dumb push too. That is not good. For Britain at least. He, he's gonna lose so much money, he's not gonna get any value out of it. Especially when Bulgaria finally takes out this Serbia. He he's only gonna hold like this foothold. He's not gonna push beyond that. And then he, he has no SEVs with him. So he has to kill this building. Once he kills the building with like five Marines that are left, uh, he has he can't build SCVs out of it because it'll have just changed hands. Uh, look at the little micro war between me and Italy is, I decided to build a shit ton of artillery apparently and just pound Italy into the ground using my entire fiscal might. I haven't been pushed by Russia at all, and I don't know what Russia's doing. Hmm. He must have just totally exhausted his forces compared to Germany. Now, Germany and, and Russia are both going slight navy. Germany has a much bigger army. Than Alright, Britain's still doing this little thing. Oh, he did bring an SCP, so he is going to establish a decent foothold on here, depending on how much money he's making. Ottoman should still be probably investing in, in taking over this Mediterranean Sea because now his income parity with Britain is like three times as much as it was. And that is a big fat lie, but it, it's definitely, he has a lot more money to deal with. Uh, 
other brick does because this is Britain's main eco right here and it is not that much and he's already prepared for the Irish uprising but holding on to that money is not going to mean too much to him he's already lost um, not just the money but the foothold the foothold was even more important that he had here because now the Ottomans feel really safe in whatever they do and it's just not going to work out too well for him because four submarines and a couple battleships is not hard for the Ottomans to just produce um, looks like Russia, Russia might be focusing down Ottoman now, which gives Germany and Austria the ability to do whatever they want. And so, my solution is to just hammer them. Hammer time! Apparently I was trying to get machine gunners up here, but this fucking... I swear to God, this Italy, bro. <clears throat> was a pain in the boot. We got Switzerland now being taken over by Italy, which has never happened in any war ever. I mean, Italy couldn't even take Ethiopia. Britain is healing at, uh, Brit uh, Italian Libya, though. Um, I, I think it's funny that these nations even exist down here. It's just a little bit of money, but it's like... They don't even contribute to the game overall. I don't even know if you can walk across this, but I don't think that you can. Hey, it's me again. I just wanted to uh, let you know that you actually can walk across Africa if you wanted to. And that I am one of the biggest liars that you have ever met. So back to the video. Okay, so Britain either landed a lot more Marines or just had a lot more Marines produced. Meanwhile, Serbia is just not giving up. He's entrenching his entire nation. So, you know, it could be worse. Italy Navy still stronger than Austrian Navy. However, uh, Austrian artillery stronger than Italian artillery. Oh, the Irish uprising has started, and it looks like the Irish are definitely not going to win, question mark. Oh, yeah, definitely not. But it was a good try. Now we just gotta wait for the communists to uprise in Russia eventually. So most of the fighting has died down. Everyone's trying to get a little bit more money to attack each other. We're only 21 minutes into this match, but can you believe that this match went on for two hours? So let's do a little time jump here. So Russia is... It looks like he's gonna all in on the Ottoman Empire, which is not good because the Ottoman Empire actually all in on a uh, navy. Meanwhile, Britain's actually going to push all the way up Greece and try to help Serbia out, which is not a bad play because now Britain's actually looking a lot more scary than he was before. Uh, unfortunately, if I recall correctly, he never really did much from this position. And Serbia... <sighs> Look at... I hate that kind of entrenchment, bro. Who would do that? It would take Bulgaria a bazillion years to get out of that. <sighs> Meanwhile, we got me hammering down Italy, finally pushing him back from where he was, which is just a fucking task in and of itself. Britain lands. Why all his howies here? Oh my goodness. Why all his howies here? Where does Britain have howies here? I don't see shit for a second. Oh, he's talking about Russia. Russia had put all his howitzers on the Ottomans. Which I guess he sniped some of his? No, he didn't. So I don't even know. Ottoman's just mad that he actually has to do work now. You know, it happens. I don't like doing work after I just beat Britain. I'd like to chill out for a minute. Maybe research tanks. Hurry up with Russia, he says. I mean, it's not like we've we got three of us on Russia. Besides, what's Russia going to do? He's going to push through this? I doubt it. I mean, it's a lot of aircraft, but aircraft don't mean shit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get aircraft because I guess I was sick of Italy trying to snipe down my shit, and that's three hundred dollars for them gone. I only lost two hundred dollars, and I got the site. He's got too many airplanes. Yeah, I did point that out. Oh, Germany goes for a big play, and Russia decides to oh, almost destroys the artillery for Germany. That could have been monumental for Russia. Meanwhile, France is starting to take back uh, what Germany had stolen from him, which was nothing. Um, 
Bulgari decided that war crimes is what's going to be required to take out this entrenchment, which honestly I couldn't agree more. Meanwhile, I'm going to use all this artillery on the ships. And what I'm doing is I'm being really slow. I'm letting my artillery build the fuck up. I probably have the most artillery of the match I would be willing to bet besides Ottoman at this point. And uh, meanwhile, Germany just moving his forces across the entire country back and forth, back and forth, just rapidly taking out stuff. Now, the communists have started to uprise. Here's a couple communists in the south. But the Russian Revolution, you don't, don't take that for granted. Now, what's curious to me is Britain is actually losing to Bulgaria, even though Britain is putting his entire economy into this, which is really funny. <laughs> uh, Ottoman beat back the British aggression uh, in Egypt, so he's fighting a one-front war with Russia. Bulgaria is fighting two-front. Uh, I'm trying to help, I think, you know, I could always be doing not much. But yeah, I, I started taking out some stuff for him. I wanted this port, port and I annihilate Italy's Navy, which, thank you, God. That Navy just pounding me. Don't take that the wrong way. But I'm going to put this on a faster 8 times speed for a hot second. We'll see. Maybe some engagements going on. Yeah, frame rate's garbage, but you're traveling at eight times the speed of light, so. France got a lot of machine guns in the middle here. France is actually preparing for a German victory right here. If you're if you're in Paris right now, that's that's a sign that you think Germany's gonna win, for sure. But France does have tanks. I'm not sure if Germany does. No, nope, Germany's still going with artillery. Not a bad plan either. Meanwhile, Austria decided that he's done with what he needs and Bulgaria is finally removing the filth that he promised to get rid of a long time ago a big engagement from Russia and Germany here I have too much art you can I lease some of it to you look at me I have such little control look how much artillery I have though it's three whole brigades of artillery thousands of dollars so I sent this man a balloon and some artillery and he's gonna take it and use it in the Russian front because I don't need that much, this much artillery, Italy is never getting past me no matter what he puts, what he brings, man. He brings these ships over here, they're dead instantly. So I'm probably going to, yep, I start building navy immediately. Italy has a lot more navy than I thought he did. A lot of gas attacks going down over here. Oh, meanwhile, I'm starting to artillery this man and fill in some bunkers to stop him from rushing here. But... I don't have gas. I'm not a terrible person. You know, I don't commit war crimes. What is France doing up here? France could easily take a good section of Germany if he pushed right now, but France got to push Germany, man. Yeah, you do. Yeah, so Italy just pointed out, France France could take a shit ton of Germany. Now, Italy doesn't know that, but f Germany does. And so Germany's already preparing for that now because Italy said that in all chat. But if France would have pushed right there, that could have been a huge losses behind the rain all the way up to, to Frankfurt and the pigs. I can't say that, but now Ottoman is still holding the choke. France decided to go with the push, and uh, he didn't do it quite well. He just attacked Munich, which means Germany's going to have all the time in the world to figure out what's going on. The communists and the Germans are going to come together on Moscow, which is... Russians do outnumber the Germans, but the Germans have some tanks. Now, artillery versus tanks, artillery is going to win if they get a chance. Now, Serbia just surrendered, and Portugal just joined the war. So now Bulgaria is going to take what Serbia had. Oh, shit, I didn't even realize. Oh, yeah, 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 Britain landed me at some point. Oh, the thousands of dollars of artillery damage that was done right there. Astronomical. Um... But I recall that we held off this. If it wasn't just me, then yeah, Germany came in and pushed back this first wave. And Bulgaria. Yeah, I said it was interesting that he did it, but it wasn't game-changing in my opinion. Meanwhile, I must have, yeah, lost a few ships that I produced. The, uh, the communists are doing some numbers on Russia, but not enough to matter too much. 
now we got Germany. Germany, oh Germany. What are we doing? What's your big play? France had a big play, I guess. But he just abandoned it. There's my artillery with the German artillery. And now Italy and Britain are working together to spite me. I saw that coming from a mile away. Time to waste all my infantry again. This shit doesn't get old, huh? So, you'll probably see me produce some machine guns at some point, which is what I'm doing right now. Communists are attacking Petrograd, but no luck there. Germany's trying to, like, poke around on Russia and see what's going on, but Russia already has a fair idea of what's going on. Oh, that could hurt. If that happens, that's going to be fucked. That, that probably would make me quit the game right there. Losing that much artillery. He didn't lose it all though, so I wouldn't quit. But if he lost it all, I could see a Germany quitting because of that. But it's okay. I got plenty of artillery if he needs to reroute it. The only problem is, is you know, then I don't have artillery. Meanwhile, Ottoman's actually winning on the Russian front now because Russia's entirely situated with uh, Germany. Now, there's a, a British-France coalition going on over here. And they if they would just untrench all these units and send them to fight, Germany would be having a terrible day absolutely saddening day but they're just going to use like a fourth of what's actually available now i understand their their distrust in doing that but now germany has to reroute from russia he has to get out of there so ottoman has to start taking the full fight from russia now luckily russia just got a little bit weakened by another communist attack but as you can see france is just annihilated right now. Kessel, Stendhal, and uh, going down to Frankfurt now. So Germany comes in, he's like, no, fuck you. You getting out of here. Meanwhile, Britain's still trying to defend the little choke he has on Bulgaria. <coughs> Not going very well. Ottoman's got everything. He's got a navy coming up. And Germany is now losing. 100% losing to the Americans, British, and French forces. So now what I'm going to have to do, and Bulgaria is going to have to do, is reroute to North Germany to see if we can stop this. So I'm begging Bulgaria for some help. Now, Bulgaria is normally not a major nation. Look how much he has. He's got nothing compared to, like, war materials. But between the two of us, I believe we're going to be able to push this aggression off. Now, I said feel free to micro for me because I had a lot of artillery, and if someone wanted to adjust it to use it for their own purposes, they could. But I think in this game, if I say feel free to micro for me, people don't. They don't like that. They think it's uh, because I'm trying to be lazy. But look at all this. It's an insane amount of units going at each other. Meanwhile, Ottoman's in the naval battle now. And if Russia pushes Germany right now, Germany's gone. So... Ottomans gotta make the play. If Ottomans doesn't make the play, then Germany's not gonna live long enough. He's already lost Konigsberg, which is a big loss for Germany again. And he's lost a lot of West Germany. So now Germany is not even the strongest central power right now. I believe the Ottomans are. So. Whew, it's getting close. But the, uh, the communists are still doing a decent job hurting Russians. Um, I don't know how long it takes for them to stop. I don't think they ever stop spawning. So Germany's begging the Ottomans to do something about Russia, and he knows Russia's on his way. Meanwhile, me and Bulgaria are having a devil of a time holding back this France push, but we're still doing our best. We, uh, My main focus was removing their artillery and removing their ability to have longer lines of sight than me. I got lucky with another artillery pick here. But I had I don't remember how much, but I destroyed a decent amount of artillery. Now Germany just pulled out to go back on the Russian front. Meanwhile, it's all me and Bulgaria here, and Italy's not really pushing because he's more or less afraid of the last engagement he was in with me. It went super unfavorably for him. He's now he doesn't have that much money. Meanwhile, France spammed a bunch of Marines, and he ended up getting them killed because he let them in one at a time. I asked Germany to share for me so I could uh, 
take his militia and attack some tanks. And it actually worked out really well. And we got like a four or five trade on tanks for one, which is an amazing. Now Russia's researching the super fast tanks, which is not good. If he starts building tanks and they become faster, I mean, we're already having a problem holding them back. We're having a problem holding everybody back. And Portugal is only growing stronger. Don't forget they're an ally, not a, not a central. Here comes another major attack. We pull back. Now, notice I don't have any field guns. So my problem at this point is the fact that artillery is not good against infantry. And look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Five. He sniped. He sniped five artillery. Can you believe that? We send out as much militia as we can to get these infantry out of here. 600 times 5 or 1200 so 1200 times 2 plus 600 okay so 2400 three thousand dollars wasted right there and each battleship is six hundred dollars okay and each mine is 25 dollars now the ottomans have decided to take major engagements with russia now russia has the advantage in engagements like this he's got the money he's got the researches Ottomans don't always research. He looks like he is now, but they don't always. Russia's doing his best. Russia's doing his best. So a half hour video is a pretty long video for me to make, if that makes sense. So, hello birdies. So, um, I'm just going to release this video and enough people like it. I'll release the other half because I turned a, an hour of game into a half hour worth of video. So it's a it's a long process. But thanks for watching. My name's Skippy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.